We present View AL, Active Learning with Viewpoint Entropy for Semantic Segmentation. Supervised learning methods have achieved state-of-the-art performance across a number of computer vision problems. Supervised learning uses ground truth correspondences to train a model which attains a certain performance. However, labeling is costly, both in terms of time and effort involved. The cost is more pronounced in the case of semantic segmentation, where every pixel in an image is associated with a label. Active learning is a promising technique where the model actively selects the data to be labeled, thereby reducing the labeling effort involved. Here, with only labeling a subset of data, comparable network performance can be achieved. We propose a novel active learning method for semantic segmentation that exploits inconsistencies in model predictions across views as a measure of model uncertainty. The major steps of our method involve firstly training a segmentation model on an existing labeled dataset. Next, based on the current model state, we decide which unlabeled samples will be labeled next based on model uncertainty. Finally, we acquire labels for the selected samples and add them to the labeled dataset. Next, we explain the method in more detail. The network is trained to convergence with existing labeled data acquired in previous active selection iterations. Next, we look at score calculation. We notice that the same points in space may be visible across several views. However, the network may not predict the classes consistently across the views. We aim to exploit these inconsistencies as a model uncertainty measure. To this end, we calculate for each pixel a view entropy and a view divergence score. We first use Monte Carlo dropout to get a per pixel probability distribution, which is helpful in estimating how confident the network is about its predictions in that view. To incorporate the uncertainty across views, we cross project the prediction distributions of corresponding pixels from other views using the depth and pose. The entropy of this view marginalized distribution gives us the view entropy score. The view divergence score is calculated in a similar fashion, but instead of marginalizing the prediction probabilities across views, we calculate the mean pairwise KL divergence of the distribution for the current view and other corresponding views. Once we have the view entropy and view divergence scores for each pixel, we associate this score to each superpixel of the image. To decide for which superpixels we should acquire labels, we first find the superpixels with the highest view entropy scores, and among them choose the view with the maximum view divergence score. Finally, for all the selected superpixels, we acquire the ground truth labels and add them to the labeled dataset. The whole active learning cycle then repeats until the labeling budget is exhausted or the entire dataset is labeled. We evaluate our method against nine other popular active learning methods on the CNET, RGBD, ScanNet, and Matterport 3D datasets. Our method is able to outperform all of these methods, requiring less labeled data to achieve the same performance. Furthermore, our method not only reduces the amount of data to be labeled, but also the required labeling effort. The majority of the selections produced by our method have only a single ground truth class associated with them, making them easy to label. We quantify this reduction in effort by comparing time taken to annotate 50 images and their equivalent superpixels and show that it takes 25% less time to annotate superpixel selections. Here are some visualizations of the quality of segmentations produced by random selection against our method. We see that the quality of our method segmentation improves visibly over random selection. Our method achieves performance comparable to training with a full data set using only a small fraction of labeled data. Thank you for watching.